quite frankly, John, I'm hurt by this because I thought I had an ally. What we don't need is net neutrality. What we need is net new sanity. And it turns out I got a literary humorist making fun of people like me. I can understand how someone who's looking for an ally and gets a literary humorist instead is going to be gravely disappointed. I would be too. Jokes hurt. But I have to be honest to myself. As a writer, as a creator, it's personally very important to me that everyone has the exact same level of access. There used to be a corporate monopoly of distribution in book publishers, movie companies, TV channels. That's eroded now, and I appreciate that's hard for those corporations and a big change, but it's a real benefit to the person who buys culture and the person who actually creates culture because now they can talk to one another directly. I started as a writer. And in the 1990s, before most people had internet, there was one way for me to get my writing read, and that was by submitting it by mail to magazines and literary journals and book publishers. When the internet became more and more pervasive, suddenly I had a place where I could reach an almost worldwide audience for a very little cost to myself. Of course, I'm going to support net neutrality because I want everyone to have that same opportunity to create and be heard on an equal footing. I think it's an amazing thing, and I would hate to have it taken away. I mean, the thing is that this is not just a creative argument. It's an economic one. The bands and the writers and the singers and performers who are creating and selling and distributing content online, these are small business people. And we really have a whole class of creative entrepreneurship that, in my opinion, an anti-net neutrality law would squash. Boy, you really drunk the Kool-Aid, huh? There's no Kool-Aid to be drunk. If you are pro-capitalist, you have to be in favor of net neutrality. That sentence makes absolutely no sense to me. It makes all the sense in the world. That's the new net sanity. You're taking your own words and redefining them. I moved a couple of syllables around.